All right, guys, we are going to continue on with my collection videos. The last one I did, which was part, I believe, five, I tried to get through the first three drawers on my left-hand side of my drawers over here. I actually only ended up being able to get through the top two. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the third one. So this is going to be part six. I'm gonna do this drawer and I may do one other one on my right hand side of drawers that I have not done yet. So that is what this video is going to be today. You're not gonna see my face, um, but this is, this is mainly a bronzer drawer, but I do have some highlighters in here as well. So this is gonna be a long video. Grab yourself a drink, get comfortable. We are gonna go ahead and get started. And sorry about the angle, but this was, this was about as good as I could do. So, all right, as you can tell, I have got a lot of my Becca highlighters over here. So the first one that I have is this one right here. This is, this is called the Pure Pearl. And this one came out with that like pearl eyeshadow palette. Hold on just a second and I'll show it to you. Not that drawer. It came out the same time as this eyeshadow palette. So these two were like a set. And if you didn't remember this one from a previous collection video, this is what that looked like. But anyway, this is, in short, <laughs> this is the highlighter that went with that. Now I absolutely love, love this highlighter. It is like a pinky champagne color. Those are like my favorite types of highlighters and it is absolutely amazing. I'm not sure, I'm sure that they aren't really selling this one anymore. You can probably only get this one on like Macari or eBay, Amazon, something like that. But this is a fantastic highlighter and I keep it right here in the front because it's one of my favorites from Becca. Also from Becca, this is the Champagne Pop Eye. This is the limited edition packaging. I had been wanting to pick this shade up and when it came out in the limited edition packaging, I knew that was my moment. Here it is here. It is more of like a golden type of a highlighter, but it is absolutely beautiful and I do really, really love this one. All of the Becca blushes, it goes without saying, they're all fantastic. That from Becca is one of my favorite things that sh that um, the brand makes. And I'm so sad that they are no longer a brand. Um, but this one is Opal. This is one of my absolute favorites. I have gone through, I think, two or three of the minis of this one. Then we have got Moonstone, another gorgeous one. These two, Moonstone and Opal, as far as the permanent shades in Becca's line, these two are probably like my favorites. Then we have got this one, which is Prismatic Amethyst. This one is such a brightening shade. It is kind of purple, but this is one that I actually will wear on my face. It is beautiful. Um, and yeah, it also works great as like an inner corner. And last up, we have got Rose Quartz. This is a beautiful, more pink toned one. This one works great as like a um, blush topper. It works great on its own as well, but it's beautiful as a blush topper as well. All right, these two, I never hear anybody talk about, but these are two of my favorite ones. So this one is actually from Pure. This is the only one that I have tried from the brand, but I absolutely love this one. This is in Afterglow and Taylor from uh, the Taylor. I, I don't remember her last name, but she is actually the one that put me onto this one and I absolutely love it. It is really, really like a blinding type of highlighter. And then from Clinique, 
this one is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the impressions in here. Beautiful little flowers. This one is called Lunar Pop, and it is beautiful. It's like one of those, like, your skin tone, like, it blends in with your skin tone, and it just looks wet, and that's one of my favorite looks as far as highlighters go. I think I'm going to take this whole thing out so that I can pull the other ones up. Oh, that ain't working. I'll have to go through these first. Okay, next up, I guess I'm going to go through these. This is some bronzers here. This is one from Becca. This is Capri Coast. This is one of their Oops, am I opening this right? This is one of their most popular um, bronzers. Again, I'm so pissed that they're not a brand any longer. Um, but what are you going to do? All right, from Bare Minerals, this is Faux Tan. This is one of their most popular shades, and for good reason. This is such a good um bronzer here. It doesn't look like I've used this at all, but I have. Um, and yeah, it is just a great, great bronzer. You could also contour with this one. And yeah, love that. All right. From Sonia Kashuk. I don't even know if she's still, this is a brand from Target and I don't even know if she still sells makeup. I think, I think all she does is brushes now, but this is a cream bronzer and this was in the shade warm tan. This was supposed to be like a dupe for the Chanel uh, tan bronzer. And I actually just picked up that Chanel bronzer. They started selling it, um, I believe, at Ulta. And that's where I picked it up. I think that's where I picked it up from. But yeah, um, I think it's new to Ulta. So maybe I will do a comparison video on these two. But yeah. That is why I picked this one up, but now I actually have the Chanel one, so. I'll put this one in in a second. All right, this one is from Pure. I got this in a BoxyCharm, and honestly, this was one of my favorite products that I ever got in BoxyCharm. This is a Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder. This is what it looks like here, so it is a shimmery bronzer, but this looks absolutely gorgeous. I really love this bronzer. All right, I have got two from Noble here. Obviously, this was the first one that I picked up, and it's just way too dark for me, so I went back and I picked up this one, and this one is a beautiful shade for me. Um, this is Soft Revenge, the one that is too deep for me, and then this one is Ombra. Now, I have been using this one as like a bronzer, and then this one I will use more in like precise areas once I have this one on to get more of a contour, and that is a good way for me to use these both and get use out of them. This is such a gorgeous formula from Nabla. Um, it's in like the same type of packaging as the skin glazing uh, highlighters slash blushes. And I love the packaging because you can see through it. You know exactly what you're grabbing. It's sleek. It's compact. The formula itself um, becomes one with the skin. And I absolutely love it. Cannot recommend these enough. All right, from Too Faced, this is from their, like, Fruity Collection. Again, I don't know the exact name of that collection, but this is Pineapple Sun, and here it is here. I was going to do a video on this, and I never did. Um, I have actually not used this, I don't think. Maybe I have. It looks like maybe I've used it once, but I don't remember this one. So, it's a more shimmery side, and then you've got a matte side. You could uh, use this as like a highlighter if you have more deep skin, or you can mix these two together for like a shimmery bronzer, which is what I would do. It still smells really good. It smells like the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. That is what this smells like. We've got a little pineapple here. So cute. I need to use this. And then from Lorac. This is a very warm toned bronzer. This is in Sundays and this is what it looks like here. Um, I don't hear anybody talking about Lorac, but Lorac powders are so just gorgeous. 
I'm going to move some of these because I feel like this light is just kind of blinding. All right, next up, I have got this one from Too Faced. This is a Sweetheart Bronzer, and it is in the shade Sweet Tea. This is a very popular one. It is so gorgeous, and this is what it looks like here. It's a very light bronzer, so I think even if you have, like, medium skin, I don't know how well this would work for you, but... If you have like my skin tone or lighter, this is a very good bronzer. I do think they have another shade in this, um, but you'll have to check that out. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. All right, so went ahead and pulled this forward and I think I'm just gonna kind of work from the back up. This is one from L'Oreal. This is the True Match Lumi Bronzer. And this one is in shade 01, which is light. And I love the pan size on this one. I don't think that I have used this one at all. So, shame on me. I need to use this. I picked it up such a long time ago. I was going to do a video and I just haven't. Next up from Bare Minerals, this is one that I have used. This is the Invin Invisible Bronze, and this is in the shade Tan. And this is a baked bronzer. It is absolutely amazing. It is such a silky powder. I honestly forgot I had this one because it's tucked so far back. I need to pull this one out and use it more because it is absolutely gorgeous. From Ofra, this is a bronze duo in River, and this is from uh, Samantha March's collaboration. I absolutely love this one. Love Samantha March. Yeah, they're Ofra products. The only thing I will say is use sparingly and be careful because you can go overboard very quickly with Ofra products in general. All right, from Makeup Revolution, this is the Mega Bronzer in 01 Cool, and their products are just so affordable. Um, I don't think I have used this one at all. It may still actually be sealed. Yeah, this one is still actually sealed. I have not even opened this one, but I do love how big this pan is. For it to be named Cool, it actually looks pretty freaking warm to me, so yeah, we'll just have to see. But I do love how affordable that brand is. Now, this is the Milk Chocolate Soleil. Um, I do have the Chocolate Soleil here, which we will get to, but this is just a lighter version of that. These smell amazing. The packaging is so freaking adorable. Smells like chocolate. I have no complaints with uh, Too Faced bronzers. Now from Flower Beauty, this is the Heat Wave. This is a newer bronzer to the brand. I do have a video testing this out. This is a very warm bronzer, as you can tell. It is like that marbled baked type of product. It does have a little bit of shimmer. So this is going to be more of like a satin type bronzer. And it is very beautiful. This one is in the shade Sunswept. But yeah, my only thing would be this one is very warm. So just something to note. All right. Okay, next up is one from Milani. And this one is in shade 02 which is Sun Kiss. Now, this is the Silky Matte Bronzer. This formula is absolutely amazing. I love this color as well because it is more of like a neutral type of a bronzer. And yeah, I have zero complaints about this one. Absolutely love it. It's from the drugstore. You can use coupons with this one. They have deals on drugstore products all the time, like buy two, get one half off or get one free. All right. From Anastasia. I believe this is the only bronzer from Anastasia I have. I love the packaging. Um, I know that my light's kind of blinding, but um, this is what the packaging looks like here. This one, again, is a very warm tone bronzer. It is also very pigmented. It's one that you have to be careful with whenever you are using it. This one is in Rosewood, and I really love 
bronzers that have kind of like a red undertone. I think those look very good on my skin tone as well as ones that are a little bit more of like a neutral type shade. So that's why you'll see a lot of those in my collection in general. Those are just the kind of shades that I go for. But yeah, this is a very good bronzer. It's not actually my favorite bronzer formula. I prefer Too Faced um, over this one. I prefer Becca over this one. I prefer MAC over this one. But um, it's really just because this one is so pigmented, you have to be careful when you're working with it. Also, we'll get to these. All right, from Huda, this one is a cream bronzer. I have not used this one yet. This is the Contour and Bronze Cream in the shade Fair. And I just, yeah, I still have not even popped the top on this, so I'm not going to do that now. But, yeah, I did get the Fair version. Um, I've heard with her bronzers, like, they go very deep. So whatever color you think you're going to be, go one under that. And so that's why instead of getting light, I got fair. But I'm going to do a Huda video with like some of her glow products. And I will probably include that in it just because I haven't tested that out yet. Now I got this from, I think it was an Ipsy. And I actually love this brand. Um, this is from Addison Ray, And her brand is now being sold at, Ul uh, not Ulta, at Sephora. Um, her brand name is Item. And this is the Mood. This is Item Cheek Money. And I think the shade is Mood Vibes. Swipe and Glow Bronzer Contour Duo. I don't know, but I do know that I love this. So in here it says, I love you, say it back. And that's what it's got in the mirror, which I think is so cute. Um, you know, self-love, all of that. But yeah, you, I just mix these two together and it is absolutely beautiful. It looks very natural. It blends seamlessly. I really love this. And from Sephora, this brand is actually very uh, affordable. So um, yeah, I highly recommend that brand. All right, from Gigi Gorgeous, this is the this is the Sick Sculpt Bronzer Duo, and this is in Turnt and Extra. Now, I think this one actually came in an Ipsy as well. This is what that one looks like. I prefer the Item Beauty one over this. This one is just okay. I think I've used it one time, so that tells you all you need to know about that. All right, from Kylie. Kylie is also a brand, as far as bronzers go, that I absolutely love. Um, this one in particular is the shade Khaki, and um, this one is probably my favorite one that I have, as far as her brand goes. And you can see how much wear this one has. I use this one actually quite frequently. And yeah, when I'm thinking about a cool tone bronzer, this is one that just immediately comes to my mind. This one here is in Tequila Tan, and this is just like a deeper and more like warm tone bronzer. I would use this one more in like the summertime for me, but I love the packaging. So sleek, so easy to store. I love the baby pink. All right, from Fenty, this is a cream bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit, and I don't think I've tried this one. Yeah, I haven't even put this one on. Shame on me. Again, I think I got this to do a video, and I just haven't done it yet. Another one that I have not used, this is from uh, Danessa Mirix. She's got a lot, this is a brand from Sephora, and she has got a lot of like cream products. I actually have, I think, pretty much everything to do a full face with her brand, and I just haven't done it yet. Um, but this is the bronzer here. I have this in the shade Light. I need to do that video, so I will do that video very soon. All right, something I got... Again, I think this was from Ipsy. It was from Ipsy or Boxy Charm. I'm not sure, but this is the Yenza Cream Bronzer. This is one that has also been compared to the Chanel. So again, I think this one is still sold. So when I do that Chanel video, maybe I'll do a comparison with this. This is the Sunlit Glow Silk Bronzing Base. 
and as you can tell i haven't even popped the top on here it came with a brush as well so there you go oh my god this is another one i haven't tried and it's just because it's been in this damn drawer but this is the um NARS cream bronzer in the shade Laguna. There was like a period where cream bronzers, oh actually I guess I have used this. Maybe I've used this once. Um, but yeah, there was a period where cream bronzers were coming out left and right and I picked up several of them, clearly. Next up, I have got some of my MAC bronzers here. This is one from the bronze collection. This came out in the summertime a few years ago, but this is in the shade Beijing Beauty. This remains one of my favorite bronzers in my collection. I absolutely love it. Next up, this is a, um, this is actually a mineralized skin finish, and this is like a this is a super OG product. This is in Give Me Sun, and it is just a warm bronzer. Um, this is actually like more of a powder, um, like a face powder, but I use this as a bronzer, and I absolutely love it in that way. This one is a mineralized skin finish this one is in global glow and as you can tell you could use this as like a shimmering bronzer in itself um you could use this as like a bronzer topper which is more so what i do but yeah this is a gorgeous product and i love it so much and then finally i've got another mineralized skin finish this is in medium deep and it is the same type of deal as the Give Me Sun. Um, this is like a face powder, but it is such a silky, gorgeous powder. I use this as a bronzer. It's got a lovely like satin finish to it. And then from Becca, this is in Sunset Waves. And this has got highlighters around it. And then it has got bronzers in the center you mix it together and it is like a beautiful glowing bronzer this one is a little deep I had another one and it was a little bit lighter it had opal on the sides of it and that one was absolutely amazing I used it so much that it cracked and kind of um, I just haven't pressed it back together yet it's still <laughs> it's still in my cabinet I just have not done that but this one is a little bit deeper. It would be more of like a summer bronzer for me. Then from Too Faced, this is the Chocolate Soleil. I use this one all the time. It is old. You can tell how much I use this. Still smells amazing. Still smells like chocolate. Gorgeous packaging. This one I got from a BoxyCharm. This one is Chocolate Gold Soleil. And as you can tell, it just got little shimmers in there. Um, I've used this one once, uh, I believe it was like during that unboxing of BoxyCharm, and these glitters didn't like show up on my face, so I don't have a problem with that, um, and I remember actually really liking this one. Alright, and then this one here, this is in Sun Bunny, this is such a gorgeous bronzer, oh my gosh. It is so, so lovely. This one is more of like a cool, neutral type of bronzer, and it smells amazing as well. This one is, it's, it's so good. So good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take this out so that I can bring these forward. Now this one I had kind of laying on top. This is a Tarte Cream Bronzer. This is in Seychelles, which um, I have used this. This is also in that palette I just reviewed on my channel recently. This is the new palette from Tarte and it's all cream products, but um, one of the bronzer shade in here is Seychelles. So I guess I actually have this twice. I love this packaging. It's like Cover FX, the monochromatic duos. It is that type of a feel, but I love the like mint green with the white writing. Yeah, this is such a, such a good bronzer and this will last me forever because I have two of these. It's really going to last me forever, but yeah. 
All right, now in here, I've got some little minis. So this one is from Paula Dorf. I think I got this in a, bo uh, not a boxy charm, in a little Ipsy bag, like when I was getting the little $10 bags. This is in the shade Bora Bora. I have actually used this. Um, I also have one from Ciate London. Again, I think this came in a little Ipsy bag. This is the Bamboo Bronzer. This is actually a gorgeous bronzer. As you can tell, I've used it quite a bit. I should probably try to use that up. Then I got two little Too Faced ones. Whenever you buy from the Too Faced website directly, you can usually pick a few samples and that is what I did with these. So this is Sun Bunny, which I have used. And then this one is Milk Chocolate Soleil, again, which I have used, but I have big ones of both of these. So, all right, then I've got the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. This one is in the shade Medium. And I have used this one as well. It is a absolutely gorgeous bronzer. Highly recommend the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess bronzers. This one is from Morphe. And this is in Debutante. This one is so freaking warm to me. This one looks like very orangey. I have not used this one. And I don't know when I will. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with the ones that are like on top over here. So this is Makeup by Mario. This is sold at Sephora. This is the shade Light Medium, and I do quite like this bronzer. Um, I think my first impressions, I wasn't that thrilled with it, but having used it like along and along, I actually do really like this one. Put this one back where I have it. All right, next up, I have got a e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. This is in the shade Tan Lines. I don't think I've even used this one yet. Yeah, this one is untouched. I have also two putty blushes that I have not used. And I think I was wanting to do a video with all of those, so I need to do that. This is a full-size bronze goddess from Estee Lauder. I think I picked this up actually from TJ Maxx, so I got it for a pretty good price. I think it was still like $20 when I picked it up. But this is the shade Light, and I love the pan size. I love the tone. I love everything about this bronzer. I love the packaging. It feels substantial. Love it. All right, from NARS. This is, actually, I think this is a blush, cream blush. This is in Orgasm. And I think this was actually, like, one of the, like, multi-sticks that they came out with. So, yeah, I just, I have it in here, I guess, because I had room in here. All right, from Hourglass. This is one of my favorite products from Hourglass. This is the Sheer Color Trio, and this is in Sunset. So it's got a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter, and this is what it looks like here. It's absolutely gorgeous, guys. Um, I really love this palette. I will be using this more in the summertime. I don't know why I'm not using it all year, but it's just something I pull out more in, like, the summer. All right, from Wet n' Wild, this is a bronzer here in Balm Beach Ready. I don't think I've even tried this one, to be honest with you, but it is just a nice, shimmery bronzer. Um, in general, I do get along well with Wet n' Wild products in general, specifically like their highlighters, their blushes, their bronzers, shit, their their eyeshadow, all the, all the Wet n' Wild stuff, <laughs> really. Um, for the price, it is such, such a good brand. And even not for the price. I mean, some of their blushes are, like, just favorites in my collection. All right, from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a little duo. This is the Film Star Bronze and Glow Duo. And so you've got the bronzer here and the highlighter. Absolutely gorgeous. I love Charlotte T so much. All right, from NYX. This is the Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium. This is another thing that was like all over YouTube at one point, but this is a nice warm tone bronzer and I use this one pretty frequently actually. Next up, we're going to go through, whoop, we're going to go through this little side over here. 
All right, this is from Jacqueline Cosmetics. This is her cream bronzer in the shade Nike. I do have a video up on my channel using this. I will link it down below. Any relevant videos that I have using this collection, I will have linked in the description box, so check that out. All right, from NARS, this is the Laguna bronzer. Again, they give these away as free gifts and in little kits all the time, so... Um, a lot of times if you get like the Sephora favorites, it'll have like this or the orgasm blush in there. So I actually have quite a few of the little Laguna bronzers. All right, from Buxom. These are actually two blushes and I absolutely love these blushes so much. Um, this one is my favorite one. This is the like primer infused blushes. This is in Seychelles and it is the most beautiful mauve blush. It has got a glow to it. It's like mauve but bronze at the same time. I don't know. You need this one. It is so good. And then I also got this one here. I haven't used this one as much but it is a gorgeous color. This is in, I can't pronounce that word. Meccanos? I don't know. But yeah, these are lovely. All right, now we have got some blushes from Becca. And again, I'm just going to kind of run through these. This is Wild Honey. This is probably my favorite one. It is a nice neutral. Absolutely love it. I also have this one, which is Songbird. Another just gorgeous shade. This one is a little bit more of like a shimmery orange. And then I have got Foxglove, which is a gorgeous berry tone. Then we have got Dahlia, which is a very deep shade. You wear this one very sparingly, and it gives you like those in from the cold type of cheeks. And then last up is Flower Child. This is another very popular one from the brand. It is like a nice like pinky peach type of a shade. And yeah, this is also one of my favorites. All right, I've got two cream blushes from Honest Beauty. And I think Tati is actually the one that made me get these, um, but I'm so glad that I did. So I got Rose Pink, which is this one here, and you can tell how much I've used this one. I love it so much. And then I also have Peony Pink, which is just more, if I can get it open, of like a peachy tone shade. I have not used this one as much. I definitely prefer this one here, which is Rose Pink. From Urban Decay, this is an afterglow, afterglow blush. I don't even think they sell these anymore, but this is in the shade Indecent, and it is just like a matte peach color. I have used the shit out of this, and I still love it to this day. All right, now from Laura Geller. I feel like nobody talks about Laura Geller, but her blushes are top, tippy top, tippy 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 top quality. They are so good. Um, this one is in Honeysuckle. As you can tell, it is like those marbled baked um, blushes. So you've got multiple colors in here. It is definitely going to give you a glow. These are like baked on clay, um, clay stones and it, they're baked in Italy. The process is it, she has multiple videos like on the process of these but literally when you get down to the bottom of this it's like a little clay stone so anyway these are absolutely beautiful cannot recommend them enough I love this shade this one is pink buttercream this is also a gorgeous shade grapefruit um that one I had in another collection video and it's gorgeous another favorite and then this one right here is tropic hues this is probably one of her most popular ones but it is just like a nice pinky peach color highly highly recommend these blushes 
All right, now back here, I have got some bronzers tucked away. So this one is from Milani. This is a baked bronzer and this is in uh, 09 Dulce. And it is just, it is a gorgeous bronzer. It's another baked product. That's something with baked products, they blend so good and they are so creamy, such silky powders. I love baked products for the face. Now this is from Kiko Milano. Again, I told you guys I picked up some stuff from the brain to do a video and I never did that. I don't think I've even used this bronzer, but I love the pan size. This packaging is bulky, but it is gorgeous at the same time and feels really nice in the hand. Um, this one is in Natural Sienna and this was like from the Ocean Feel collection. Well then. All right, this is from Patrick Ta, and this is in She's Statuesque. So you have got a powder bronzer and then you have got a cream bronzer. I love his packaging. Sorry, it's blinding you guys, but it is like such a luxe brand in my opinion. All right, this one is from Lancome and this is in La French Glow. Uh, this is in shade O2 Warm Sensual, and I have not used this. <laughs> I picked it up just because I thought it was so gorgeous. Loved the pan size, loved all the different tones. You can mix those together and get just a gorgeous color. Um, I need to use this. I don't know what the hell my problem is, but yeah. All right, from Morphe, this is in, this is the Glamour Bronze Face and Body Bronzer in the shade Icon, and this is another one I have not used. Love the pan size. I love this shade, actually. It's, like, warm, but not too warm, and, yeah, I don't know. I need to use this because that shade looks really, really nice. All right, and then... From Wander Beauty, this is the Dusk to Dawn palette. I think I got this in a boxy charm. Um, Wander Beauty is such an underrated brand. Their products are so good. Like the powders blend, blend in like they were a cream. Like so gorgeous. So you've got a highlighter here, and then you have got two blushes. I tended to mix these blushes together, but yeah, this is a gorgeous palette. The cardboard actually feels pretty cheap, and I don't like how small these pan sizes are, but I still, regardless, love this palette. All right, guys, so that is our wrap on this drawer. Now we are going to head over to the other drawers and start going through that one. All right, guys, now we are over at the other side of my drawers. This is my right-hand side set of drawers if I'm sitting in my chair. So we actually have three drawers over here that we have not gone through yet. I have a lipstick drawer. I have got a drawer that has like my concealers, a good bit of lipsticks and some other things. I think we are gonna go through those two at a separate time. But for the sake of this video, because it's already pretty long, I'm gonna go through this drawer right here, which has got um, a lot of my, well, it's got most of my, all of my powders pretty much. And it's got some primers and a little bit of lipstick products. So we're gonna try to just blow through this drawer. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one because it's blinding you guys. This is from Jacqueline Cosmetics. This is the Love Language Luminous blush and I did a whole video testing out her whole brand so I do have a video with this I will link it down below but this is a gorgeous blush now from the same line this is another one of those blushes in the shade lover boy so you can tell this one is definitely more of like a hot pink whereas this one is more of like an orange peachy tone but I do love these I think I'm going to go ahead and try to go through all of my Jaclyn cosmetics. So this one is a luminous powder and this is in Do Me. This is a gorgeous highlighter and it is like a banana type of a color as you can tell there. When you put this on, it is like, 
it is one of the most beautiful highlighters that I have. It's so gorgeous. I think I actually have two of those. Let me see. I got some of her stuff back here. Yes, this is the same thing. I loved it so much I bought two. All right. From that same line, this is the shade Brighten Up. And it is exactly what it says. It is like a more pinky type of a color. Very brightening shade, but it does have some glow to it. And then I have got... Alright, this is the under eye powder from her line. These would last forever if you're just setting under your eyes. This is in Brightening Light Banana. And the only con I have about her products is just, this is some bulky ass packaging. I mean, you can see how much room this is taking up in my drawers. And then I also have Brightening Pink, which is this one here. I prefer the pink one. All right, I think that's it from Jacqueline. Okay, so next up I'm going to grab this just because it's huge and it's in my face. This is from Makeup Revolution and this is from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, which I love. And this is a highlighter in Moonlight, Mischief, and Madness. I love this so much, so cool, and I don't care that this packaging is huge. I don't care that it feels cheap. I love the concept, I love the idea, love everything about this one. And Makeup Revolution has actually got some very good highlighters um, in general. I have raved about their highlighters many times on my channel. Alright, this is one that you guys, if you've seen any of my tutorials, I actually went through a phase where I was using this like all the time and it is a great, great um, product. This is from Tarte. This is the Shape tape glow powder and I have mine in the shade starlit sorry it was so it was blinding me okay so this is the shade here it is a baked product absolutely love it I love I actually like the packaging how you could just see right through it what you're grabbing it looks a little cheap but I actually love it all right this is from Too Faced this is again from their fruity line and this is a banana cream setting powder. And look at there, you've got a little banana, it's so cute. I have not used this, it still smells like bananas, I can smell it from here and yeah, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me, I need to use this. I need to do like a, I need to do a video on that line and just use all of their stuff. All right, from LYS. This is a affordable, clean brand at Sephora. Um, it is not going to break the bank. And this is a translucent setting powder. This is it here. And I need to use this. I got a bunch of stuff from this brand and was going to do a video and I have not yet. Alright, I am like missing something and I'm trying to find it and I'm low key kind of freaking out. I have this same powder in a Prince collection, like limited edition packaging, but this is the one in the normal packaging here. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. This is what it looks like here. Again, I'm freaking out because that's like one of my favorite powders and I don't see it in here. Usually I have it like right on top. So hoping that I find that, but yeah. I was going to show you that with that one. All right, here is my little puff from One Size. Um, when I did the shade match from Sephora, this is the shade they matched me to. When I had everything like said and done on my face, it looked pretty good. Like it looked normal, but at first this was like so off on my skin tone. I don't know why Sephora matched me to this one. Usually they do pretty good, but this is in medium three. Um, but yeah, I got these two together. And that puff does work really, really well with that um, powder. All right, next up, 
think I'm gonna go through some of these up here. All right, so from NYX, this is the one that I have been using the most recently. I've been using it pretty frequently, actually. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder in the shade Light. It is a really good powder from the drugstore. I used this one today, actually. This is from Rare Beauty, and this is her setting powder setting powder in the shade light this was made in italy i love the packaging of this because it is like so clean to use it's very user friendly i love it the the formula of this powder is really good as well it's not too expensive i think it was like 20 dollars. this will last you a really long time all right i've got two from ciate so this is the everyday vacay powder here and it's got coconut in it it smells really good um, i have not used this one at all i have went through a full one of these before though um, so this was like a backup one and i just haven't opened this but i really do love this powder now this one is the extraordinary translucent powder this one i don't like as much but it is still a good powder, um, but I prefer the Everyday Vacay. All right, a classic from Laura Mercier. I think you have to have this in your collection. If you love makeup, this is such, such a good powder to have. It's a classic. It's one that I always come back to. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And this one had its time on YouTube as well. This is my second one of these. And yeah, it is just a fantastic powder. From Lawless, I have the Seal the Deal Loose Setting Powder. This is in Brightening Translucent. I love this for under the eyes. It is such a smoothing powder, and I highly, highly recommend this one. Lawless is actually a um, clean makeup line from Sephora. All right, next up, I've got this one from Beauty Bakery. This one, Beauty Bakery in general, their packaging is always on point. When I got this, it was in like a little flower bag, um, and so cute, so cute. I have not used this one shame on me but yeah i need to test this out i was going to do a video testing out like a full face of beauty bakery i haven't done that yet now this one is from too faced this is the do you um i actually have this foundation and i did a video forever ago don't recommend watching that one because i was like early youtube days for me but um i haven't tried this and i don't know why but I like the packaging of it. It's got this little, it's covered right now. You're all set. Too Faced is just too cute. Um, but this probably smells like watermelon. The foundation smells like watermelon. Um, this is in Translucent Radiant Pearl. I need to use this. I don't know why I haven't. Here it is. Okay, good. I feel better now. This one, I again, I have used on my channel so many times. This is the Urban Decay and Prince collection. This is that all-nighter setting powder. Ooh, there I am. That I was trying to find. But yeah, I'm so glad I found this. I was low-key freaking out a little bit. And that's something. Even with like this big of a collection, I will know. I will know if something is missing. I know what I have. That's why I have it organized like this. Um, all right, from Kika Milano, this is also from the Ocean Feel Collection. This is the Translucent Setting Powder. I heard really good things about this, and so I want to use this. It's got this little thing where you open it like that, and it's got the net. Love that packaging. Love that concept. Wish more brands did that so it would be just easier to use as far as loose setting powder goes. But yeah, that is sold at Ulta. Now, I have got a few from Dermablend. So first off, I have got their original loose setting powder, which is just like the translucent one. And then I also have got this one here, which what the hell, where's the shade? <laughs> So that's kind of weird but yeah i'm sure this is light i would think but um yeah there you go i don't think i've used either one of those however i have went through like 
five or six of the little minis that you get as samples of this. And this went on sale um, at Ulta as one of their like 21 Days of Beauty. And that's why I picked these two up because that is a really, really good powder. Now, from New Skin, this is actually Bronzing Pearls. Now, this brand, um, I love a lot of stuff from this brand, actually. But it's one of those, like, that you have to know somebody that sells it to get it. Um, my cousin actually sells these, and I will have her page linked down below. But it is, like, all different color little pearls in here. So you've got some highlighters, you've got some bronze, you've got some like blush. And basically you just put a brush in here, mix it all together. And it's kind of like an all in one cheek product. Like it's like your blush, bronzer and highlighter all in one when you put this on. So I like this whenever I'm in a rush. Um, and this will last you forever. Now this, I think they only come out with like a few times a year, um, with that company just because it's something that they come out with it, it sells out and then they have to make more, but it is really good. All right. From Becca, this is, this is such a unique powder. This is a Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Now, when you put this on, it literally feels like wet and like cold and powder and wetness don't really go hand in hand right but this powder works and it feels so refreshing I actually really love this powder um and yeah again so pissed that Becca is not a brand anymore like all right now I'm gonna go ahead and go on with this one this one is from Jeffree Star this powder smells like cotton candy. I love the packaging. This is in the shade beige. This powder is made in the USA. Love that. I actually love Jeffree Star's brand in general. Um, I know a lot of people have feelings about him one way or another, but I absolutely, I love his brand. I love his concepts. He's not coming out with stuff like left and right. I feel like his stuff is very thought out. Very much like Manny MUA with Lunar Beauty and Laura Lee with Laura Lee Los Angeles. They're not like money grabs. I feel like they really do think about their products and come out with things that their customers want. And this is one of my favorite powders. I really, really do love this powder. Another one of my favorite powders is this one right here. This is from Too Faced. This is the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. And I have mine in the shade Translucent. Love the packaging. Like, it is so luxe. I absolutely love Too Faced. I really, really do as a brand. And this is my second one of these. So that should tell you all you need to know right there. This is a great one. All right, this is from Danessa Mirix, and again, I got this to do like a full face tutorial with her brand. This is the Evolution Powder, and this is in shade two. Um, I have not tried this out. Again, I was going to do that tutorial, which I'm going to do, so be on the lookout for that. All right, from Kylie, this is her Translucent Setting Powder. Honestly, I'm not that much of a fan of this. It's got a weird smell to it. I don't know what it is about this powder. It says it's made in the U.S. Um, I don't know. This is just not one of my favorite powders, but uh, I have used it quite a bit. Um, but yeah, just I definitely have better in my collection. My camera fell, so I had to kind of adjust that a little bit. I hope that you can still see pretty well. Um, I may go ahead and keep on going. This is from Pat McGrath, and this is her Sublime Perfection. This is the Blurring Under Eye Pow Powder in the shade Light. And I don't know, a lot of people like rave about this one. I think it's okay, but I don't think it's like, I don't think it's worth the price is what I'll say. But um, yeah, there are things from Pat McGrath that I do think are definitely worth the price. This one just isn't one of them, but yeah. All right, I'm going to pull out this little stack here. This is from Hourglass. I haven't tried this yet, but this is one of 
One of the ones that people like rave about, this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to use this just because I know that it's a favorite for so many people and for people that have the same preferences that I do for makeup. So I definitely am going to try this one out. This is one, I don't know why these are sticking together. Um, this is from Stellar Beauty. I think I got this in a BoxyCharm. Um, but this is in shade Glow 02. This is a brand that is made in Canada. And as you can tell, this is just really dark for it to be shade 2. Um, I don't know why in a box like that they wouldn't give you like a translucent type shade. This just does not work for me. Alright, I've got some more little minis here. This is from Patrick Star's brand, which is one size. And these are both in translucent. I will end up using these. I have not tried those yet though. And I have got this one from Laura Mercier. This is translucent. I have the full size one. So that's why I haven't used this yet. Also have the KVD. This is the Locket setting powder in the shade translucent. This is another one that people like rave about in general. So I will have to try that one. This one is from Becca. This is the Soft Light Blurring Powder. And I don't, it doesn't say a shade on here. So, yeah. But this is the one that I have here. I have not tried this one out, obviously. Now, this is like the little minis that I was talking about from Dermablend that I've went through like five or six of. This is that size here. Um, and yeah. This is a great, great product. Going through these is what, again, made me buy the full size. All right, now from Too Faced, this is the Perfect Peach Setting Powder. And this is Translucent Peach Whisper. It still smells like peaches. It smells so good, guys. This is such a good powder. Highly, highly recommend. All right, from Huda Beauty, this is her... Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder, and it's in the shade Banana Bread. Um, I do think this is a good color for me. This is such a small little sample, um, but I do love that it actually comes in like the packaging you would get in the full size. Uh, but yeah, I have not tried this one yet. All right, and then last up, this is from Tarte. This is the Shape Tape Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. You've got a little puff here. This is a net. Um, I have not used this one yet. I love this packaging though. I love how everything comes compact. Um, it would be very easy to use. But yeah, I, as you can tell, I've got some powders to work through. So that's why I have not opened that one yet. All right, and then from Jaclyn Cosmetics, this is her little palette here. This is the Brightening and Setting Palette. So here it is. And basically it comes with like, four different shades where you can mix and match to get your own perfect color for setting your face but also for setting your under eyes and yeah I absolutely I, I really like this palette actually now the powders that I use the most often are right here and you can't see the very front because this is the best angle I could do guys getting this camera angle right takes longer than you would think um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. So this is from Dior and this is such, such a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I love this one. This is the Dior Backstage. This is the Glow Face Palette and this is in shade 01 Universal. So you've got two strobing powders and then you have got two blush shades so this is in pink and bronze um i use this as like a bronzer topper but obviously they are saying these are blush shades and then these are two highlighter powders here absolutely beautiful such such a gorgeous formula these glide on the face and they are just it's definitely one of the things that is worth the price so I highly recommend this one. If you're looking to splurge on a product, this is a good one to do it on. Now, this is my beloved MAC Studio Fix Plus Powder. This is in shade NW13. This is the one I use this all the time. If I'm using like a lighter coverage um, foundation or uh, 
concealer and I really want to like amp up the coverage, this is the one that I pull for. Now, if I'm using like a very matte powder and I want to add like some glow and I don't want it to look cakey when I set my face, this is what I pull for. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium and it's actually pretty light. I don't see how that's medium, but yeah, I do love this powder as well. This is um, the Studio Fix powder, but this is in NW15. So this works, it works very similarly to the NW13. This one is just a little bit darker. So I tend to use this one more in like the summertime. Now, from Smashbox, I used this recently on my channel actually for the first time and I haven't used it since. So it was a decent powder, but it's just not my favorite in my collection by any means. Um, but this is it here. This is the one where you have to like twist this and it shaves off a little bit of fresh powder each time you use it. Um, and yeah, it's just not my favorite. It kind of cringes me out doing that. So yeah. This one is from It Cosmetics. It's the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. This one is in shade translucent. I actually, I actually have not used this one. I have went through one of these before in the past, like years ago. It is a good powder. It's just not my favorite in my collection anymore. Really those MAC ones at the very front, those are the ones that like day in and day out I go for. All right, and then we've got this one from NARS. This is in limited edition packaging. This is the translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder. This actually cost a pretty penny. I think this was like $40. Um, I kept this little cover in here with the little puff, but this is the powder here. And my gripe with this is just that I think it's almost like set, like pressed too hard where it's kind of hard to pick up enough of the product to set your face properly but yeah I'll have to kind of continue to use this one I have used it off and on I've probably used it like five times and that consistently is my review of it um but yeah I will have to continue to use this one maybe it's one of those things like you really have to get in there before it's good you know and then I have this powder from Laura Geller. This is her Baked Balance and Brighten in the shade Medium. I really turned my stepmom onto this powder and got her hooked on it. It is such a good powder. This actually you can use as like a foundation. So if you like buff this on your face, you can actually get some really good coverage and it looks natural again because of that very creamy baked formula it's so good so good i don't know why more people don't talk about laura geller all right i'm going to take this out just so i can kind of pull this forward oh i do have some more powders back here this i've been looking for this this is the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in the shade fair light from the drugstore i think this is like the best loose setting powder that you can get this is my second one of these, such a good powder. And then this is from Wet n Wild. This is from the Pac-Man collection. And this is just like a little bronzer here. Um, as you can tell, there's very little product in here actually, but it would probably still take you forever to use this just because I know from that new skin one, like I probably am never going to run out of that. But yeah, this, is a cute little bronzer from Wet n Wild and I will probably never get rid of this. Here I've got, this is just like some overflow like lip products that I have. So I'm just gonna kinda go through these quickly. This is from Buxom. If you're not familiar with Buxom lip glosses, they are like a plumping lip gloss. They are one of my favorite brands as far as lip gloss goes. But this is the shade Celeste. I also have this one from Givenchy. This one is like a balm and it is so, so good. It turns to like your perfect shade of pink, but this is in 001 and this is the liquid balm. I love this. Another one from Buxom. This is in a very popular color. This is in the shade Dolly and it's absolutely gorgeous. 
from Pat McGrath. This is a highly, highly reflective lip gloss here. This is in Bronze Astral. And it is one of my favorite in my collection. So, so good. Here is another little mini from Pat McGrath. I actually have a few Pat McGrath minis in here. This one is in Executive Realness. I actually have a video showing all of my Pat McGrath lipsticks. This one is Elson 2. This is a gorgeous shade. This is one of my favorite shades from Pat. And then this one is Soft Core. And this is another one of my favorite shades that I own from Pat. And I got two of them in this little mini set. All right, from YSL, this is a gorgeous shade as well. Great, like, everyday neutral pink shade. This is in, honestly, I'm too blind to see the name of it, but, yeah, just know it's gorgeous. That's all I can tell you. All right, another little mini from Pat. This is in Flesh 5. Gorgeous. This is a wonderful lip gloss from Tower 28. It is just in their clear version, which is the shade Chill. And yeah, I really, really love this lip gloss. It makes your lips look huge. All right, another lipstick from YSL. I cannot read the name of it. It is just too small, but this is it here. This one is not one of my favorites. I don't really like that shade of red. This is another one from YSL. This is one of the liquid lipsticks. This is in shade 16. I can see that. Um, but yeah, this is actually a very, very gorgeous rose shade. Then from Lipstick Queen, this is in Medieval. And this turns to like your perfect berry. And that's something with all of the Lipstick Queen formulas. Um, the balms like this, they turn into like your perfect shade of pink or your perfect shade of peach or your perfect shade of berry. Um, and that is one thing that I love about them. They are also so, so comfortable. I have a few full size lipstick queens and they're all great. This is one from Givenchy and this is in shade 501. It's just their liquid lipstick. Beautiful, like rosy berry color. And then, oddly enough, I have this Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Liquid Liner in the shade 02 Coffee. Um, I should probably use this because I've been wanting to use like a brown liner. Um, but yeah, there you go. Okay, now we have got some of my primers here. I'll put this in here. All right, we're gonna gonna. We're going to kind of run through these. So this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And this one is in Moonstone. I absolutely love this one. Another one that I absolutely love from the brand. And I have gone through several of these little minis. I also have purchased a full size. This is in Becca First Light Priming Filter. And these two, the formula is so wonderful. This one is definitely more brightening, but both of these are like a glowy formula and I absolutely love these. This is one from Makeup Revolution and Elf and this is like a beautiful glowy primer as well. It reminds me of those Becca ones and so yeah that one is gorgeous. This one is from L'Oreal. This is the Magic Lumi. This one had its time on YouTube as well as far as like popularity goes. I love this one. Um, I wouldn't put this on my face anymore, but I definitely would put this on my body to get a glow. It's just too old at this point to use on my face. But yeah, this, if if I, if I ran out of primers and I had to get a new one from the drugstore, this would probably be it. All right, a classic is the Benefit Professional. This is actually a full size. It doesn't really look like it. But this is a full size and you need a very little bit of this and it really is very pore filling. It will be like a silk canvas to work on. I do love this one. I will always have this one in my collection. Likewise from Smashbox, this is the photo finish. It again is a very like blurring type of formula 
and again this is another one that I will probably just always have in my collection something similar from the drugstore is Maybelline baby skin this one is also pore filling and um this is actually one of the first primers from the drugstore that I ever purchased. So that's telling its age, but it still performs really well. And the formula of it is still like the same. All right, this one I got from a BoxyCharm, I believe. This is the Mirabella Prime. This is for face and eyes. And yeah, I haven't really used it much. So I can't really tell you too much about it, but there you go. Makeup Forever, step one, this is the Skin Equalizer. I know they have a bunch of different variations. Um, I honestly have not tried this one. Too Faced, this is a little mini of the Primed and Peachy, and I do really like this one. It smells wonderful as well. Now from Wander Beauty, this one is the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. It is a facial oil, but it can be used as like a moisturizer slash primer as well. And um, yeah, this is a very, very good one. From e.l.f., this is the Jelly Pop Dew Primer. And to be honest with you, I have not used this one. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think it's so fun and the packaging of it and everything is so cute. I really need to use this one. Here is another one from Makeup Forever. This again is the um, Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is a mattifying primer. There it is. But yeah. Then from Hourglass, this is the Veil Primer. I have not used this yet. Let me see. Oh, that's different. Um, but yeah, I have not used this yet. It's probably fantastic and I'm scared that I'm going to use it and love it and everything from Hourglass cost an arm and a leg. All right, this is from Anastasia and I think I got this from a BoxyCharm as well. This I actually have used quite a bit. Like this is probably more than halfway gone. This is the Liquid Glow. So this is actually a liquid illuminator, but I would mix this in with my primer um, whenever I was self tanning and it would just give me like a gorgeous like warm type of glow from the get-go before I put on any makeup and yeah that is how I use this I love it I probably will continue to do that this year in the summertime so this is from MAC this is the natural radiance primer I've went through several of these little minis I also have a uh, big size one of these and Using these little samples is actually what made me purchase that one. So that tells you how good it is. All right, from Too Faced, we have got the Hangover RX. This is a very moisturizing primer, but to me, that's really like all it is. Um, I don't get the hype on this one. And yeah, that's my thoughts on that. All right, from Urban Decay, this is the All Nighter Face Primer. This is kind of a thicker type of a primer. And I have went through one of these. It is pretty good though. So um, yeah, I do like this one. From Olay Hendrickson, this is the Banana Bright Face Primer. This is skincare and makeup together. I love that. And yeah, I love this primer as well. From Pure, this is the 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. Have not used this from Rare Beauty. I wish I would have used this when I did that brand tutorial. I didn't know that I had this because it was buried at the bottom of this. So I have not tried this. Um, this is the Pore Diffusing Primer, which is actually the one that people really love. So yeah, I need to try this out. Here's another one of the MAC Natural Radiance Base Primers. Then I've got the Laura Mercier. This is the Pure Canvas pal, uh, Primer. Then I've got the Stravectin. This is the Anti-Wrinkle Line Blur Fector Instant Wrinkle Blurring Primer. I could use that on my forehead. And then Smashbox. This is the Vitamin Glow. I think I've used this once and it was okay. 
This one is one of my favorites from Smashbox. They've got a few different variations. I love the green one, which is like a neutralizing type of a primer. It reduces redness because I have a lot of red in my skin. Um, but this one is the Oil and Shine Control. And this one is bomb. This is such a good one. Now, speaking of the Hangover RX, I have it here. I think I got this on an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. But yeah, I mean, it's a it's a decent primer, but I think it is overhyped for what it is. Like, it's just a moisturizing primer. That's really all I get from it. It doesn't blur my pores. Um, I don't think it really makes my makeup last any longer than it would just with a moisturizer on it. But it is very hydrating. So, I do like this. It does feel really nice on. But I just, it was so overhyped on YouTube and I don't... I don't get that type of hype about it. All right, this is from Becca. This is the Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. I have used this before. It's a good one. You can't get it anymore, obviously. This is from Cover FX. This is the Blurring Primer, and I do really like this one as well. All right, from Bite Beauty. This is the Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer. Um, I have not tried this. I like Bite Beauty, but I do, I think they're a little bit overpriced, honestly. Um, I know that they're very, like, clean products. Like, literally, it's like food-grade products that they put in their formulas. So, I mean, I guess that's what you're paying for. But from this brand, I really like the Bullet Lipsticks and... Yeah, that's that's what I love from that brand. All right, and then I have got two from YSL. This is the Touche Clot Primer, and it has got little gold flecks in there, if you can see that. This is a gorgeous primer. I also have one, like, up on my desk because I do love this primer so much. Whenever you are wanting to look and feel glamorous look no further because this is such a glowy moisturizing type of a primer it is like a gel formula it's so cooling when you put it on I love this one I love it and then I think these are the last two things here this is from number seven this is the airbrush away primer I have not used this one yet I have several of these as well like in my little drawers over here that have all my samples um but yeah i have not used this yet and then i saved one of the best for last this is urban decay prince liquid illuminator i have raved and raved and raved about this on my channel it is such such a gorgeous liquid illuminator you can mix this in with any other primers that you have any moisturizers that you have and you would have a nice glowy base but i use this after I have done all of my makeup, I've set everything down, and I use this as an actual highlighter, and it is gorgeous in that way. And I'm not a normal, like, liquid illuminator type of a person, and this one is so, so good. I was able to get everything back in this drawer, and I have some totals on those two drawers that we went through. I have them down here written on a piece of paper, so I've got... 32 primers in those two drawers, 37 face powders, three face palettes, 56 bronzers, 17 blushes, 15 highlighters, 14 lip products, and one random eyeliner. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any of these, let me know how they work for you. Again, any videos I have in relation to any of these products will be linked down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already to catch all of my future videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.